Hello and welcome back. Hey, I'm Ron with Ideal Industries. In this video, I want to talk about some of the parameters or terminology we use when we actually test cattery cable for certification testing. Now, in this video, I'm going to actually talk about how we test the cable length and what to think about when we're doing it. We also need to look at the delay and the delay skew in the cable caused by that length. Then we'll look at the DC resistance in the cabling. Now, when we measure length in cabling, um, you know, uh, we're actually more interested in the electrical length, not the physical length of that cable. Now, most of us know that these cables are marked every two foot long cable, which will give us a rough idea of the distance. And a lot of manufacturers today, when they make cable, will sequentially mark that for us. So in this case, this cable says 928 feet. That meant there's 928 feet still left in my 1,000 foot box. Okay, So that's kind of handy. Now, it gives us a rough idea of the distance. Now, that's not the electrical length of the cable. No. And we need to actually look at each one of these pairs and check that length compared to what the industry standard says it can't be passed, which is actually 100 meters in length. Now, 100 meters is 328 feet, which is actually a pretty long run, but you could definitely hit it. And actually, 90 meters is designed to be in wall applications and 10 meters out of the walls to uh, for patch cords and things like that to hook everything up with. Okay. Now, in Caterer Cable, we twist these pairs to eliminate noise or crosstalk, okay? And we twist each of the pairs at a different rate to, again, to help eliminate noise and crosstalk. So we actually need to look at each one of these pairs. And uh, in Category 5E Cable, I'm going to tell you it's roughly about 5%. Uh, so a 100-foot cable is maybe more like about 105 feet inside. Uh, Cat 6, it'll be in the 8 to 10% range maybe roughly. It all depends on the amount of twisting that you're doing in the pairs. And then Cat 6A, which is really, really twisted, it's going to be even worse than that. But as long as you stay under our 100-meter rule set by the industry, the system should be working. Okay. Now, two other parameters we'll look at are the delay and the delay skew in the cable. Now, the delay is essentially the amount of time it takes the electrons to travel down a conductor. And believe it or not, we're going to actually measure this. We measure it in actually nanoseconds, which is billionths of a second, which is pretty fast. Now, the delay skew is the difference between the four pairs because, again, keep in mind, each pair is twisted at a different rate. In general, I'm going to tell you the blue pair is twisted the most and the brown pair generally the least, although not always. But a lot of times we'll look at those pairs to see what that skew might be. And the industry allows us a maximum of 50 nanoseconds uh, for the industry for things to be working, okay? So here we're looking at a cable with a blue pair, which has a delay of roughly 100 nanoseconds. The brown pair is at 75 nanoseconds, and of course the difference there is 25 nanoseconds, which is within the, the maximum set of 50 for the industry. Okay, And lastly, we're going to look at the DC resistance in the cabling here. And the tester will actually do a, a loop resistance in the, each of the pairs and actually make sure all the pairs are really about the same they need to be. And when they're not, that can be caused by using different cable types, mixing them together. Uh, that can be caused by uh, poor connections with, you know, using a punch-down tool or making a modular plug or a category jack or something like that. Could be damaged to the cable, and if uh, the tester sees a DC resistance in three of the pairs is about the same and sees a very small DC resistance in one of the pairs, that's probably going to indicate a short to me someplace in the cabling. And vice versa, if I see three pairs at about the same DC resistance and I see one pair with a very high DC resistance, that obviously would maybe indicate an open to us, Okay. So uh, those are things we'll actually go about measuring uh, with our certification testers as we do certification testing on Cattery Cable. Hey, look for the channel for more uh, videos on this subject and topic because I'll be putting more out for you. And thanks for coming to this one. Hey, I'm Ron with Ideal, and I'll plan on seeing you on the next one.